Welcome, Zodiac, or at least Virgos through Pisces. Six and six today, technical difficulty. So, what I'm doing with the singles reading here on the 17th is a daily read all week for singles uh, by sign and um, with timestamps, guys. And they happen to meet the soulmate read up. That's uh, would have been for you guys last uh, Thursday, uh, is always. Uh, Virgo, uh, no, uh, Wednesday, I'm sorry, Wednesday would be your reading, and the meet the soulmate just eight cards and describes the one that's right for you, and so who we think spirit might have as the one that's right for you, kind of the description of them, so it's not trigger anything, this goes more into depth, here we kind of more focus on you, and where you're at in your love and relationships right now, and your uh, singles journey, guys, so you're doing very well, uh, and Ten of Pentacles, also very personal energy. This is where you're at in terms of love and relationship, where your mind is at, where your heart is at. And I kind of try to like do this as a baseline. This is almost like this really isn't about relationships yet. This is just where you're at and might speak to your history. Now for a history, uh, the Ten of Pentacles, I say it's personal energy. So this is earned income. This is uh, working, uh, making good decisions, uh, saving. Uh, being doing the good work and being very solid you know um, so it kind of comes to mind like it's not exactly someone that you would think of even as looking uh, for love so it could be you know you're literally like well I've um, got everything else you know I might have love too <laughs> that's good for the a man or woman who has everything how about the soulmate um, here we go Huh. Seven of Wands. This is the righteous defense of the castle. Remember that one. Not fishing with his uh, staff. <laughs> righteous defense of the castle. Like the ones, you know, uh, show the man in front of the castle there defending the castle door. That's kind of the energy of it. I get the feeling this could be like literally a little bit older person that's maybe been single for a while and you're now ready you're just thinking like you know hey i want love you know i got everything else i got everything else i want like basically i got it together i got everything else cool um now all i need is love and this is like your children probably maybe even adult children could be you know younger even saying mom dad no i mean uh it's like um I think like there's a general feeling, I get to get the feeling this is coming from actions from people around you, and there, there's, um, it could even be friends uh, that kind of are not really for you uh, getting into a relationship, Libra, and um, you may have to be defending yourself in terms of that uh, energy. Uh, I'm Sagittarius, I, I really, I don't know how much I defend myself, but I just damn well do what I want to. Uh, let's see what where that goes with the outcome here. Strength card. So this is kind of a theme, you know, and it's really great to get the strength card here, guys. Because um, here you come in being solid, having made all the right moves, done all the right things, and you're, it's your life, you know, you're trying to decide what to do. Um, in, in any case, this is getting uh, having to defend yourself. This could be also uh, maybe good government or, or, or some kind of uh, regulations or something complicate things for you, you know. Um, and we're trying to think of this in terms of the love or even though your singles energy here. Um, so I really like it more in the sense that these are the people around you, and I really get to sense of the, the children, kind of like mom, dad, no, and. You know, you're going to need strength. Strength I always see as a blessing, but I always see it as two-edged sword because it's also a challenge. It means we're going to need strength, and you are going to need strength, you know. Um, but I was going to say, I think with the concerns here of your people, pretty much at all, is the status quo might change. And they're all very comfortable. Maybe you've been comfortable, but you're like ready to get out of your comfort zone. And it looks here to me like... Um, Libras, you're going to kind of have to uh, channel your opposite, your Aries energy, and you're going to have to fight your way out of your comfort zone uh, here. Um, and uh, I think you will, as the strength cards there back you up. 
you know <clears throat> thank you guys all right now scorpios scorpio season venus and scorpio full disclosure water um, so and I, I was gonna say i have to meet the soulmate read up on the channel um, would have been uh, from last um, Thursday and before the end of November. If you want to go deeper into that eight card spread, uh, spread, which just describes your soulmate, what they're like. This one I'm trying to do this week, a little different. Just go in and touch bases and do all signs every day and pull three cards and get an idea of where you guys are at in terms of love and relationship, Scorpios. Pulling through the deck, King of Cups. Now, I could say that's Scorpio energy. So, when you show up in your own reading, if anybody's cross-watching for the Scorpio, yes, they're sincere. I feel when I see this as the card of the energy where you're at in love and relationships, and it comes up as yourself and a king, it's uh, bringing out the higher aspects of the King of Cups, so being emotionally available, emotionally intelligent, also being uh, capable of being vulnerable understanding uh, human emotions you know um, and you don't get to be that uh, by resting on your laurels it's kind of speaks to maybe a little bit older Scorpio someone that's like uh, paid the dues you know um, to become the king it's not male or female for sure but paid the dues to rise to where you're vibing around love and relationship I would call that vibing at a higher level not about what your job is here but right now it's like you're in uh, shutdown mode boy this reminds me it wasn't long ago the voices I hear said very very clearly you were shut down for your own good do not resist <laughs> and I did it and I listen now but it's like I kind of get that you're shut down for your own good do not resist If you're being shut down like that and you're healing and you're coming in as the King of Cups. It might speak to being vulnerable here, Scorpios. Scorpios don't like feeling vulnerable. One of the things about the King, we'll think about a single King. Okay, a single three. So he's a single King for whatever reason. Maybe he killed his uh, Queen, maybe not. We don't know that. We don't know that, Scorpios. But he's single. She's single. It could be a queen or a queen king, whatever. <laughs> uh, so they're kind of invulnerable. You know, they got a whole kingdom. They got stone walls, palace guards, armies. I mean, you're not going to put a knife in their heart. But if you make them like fall in love with you and hello Scorpios, then you got their heart like in in your hands. And that's maybe the only way that a king is vulnerable. So maybe you know that there's something going going on there. You know, and this could be too, I get the feeling, you could be taking yourself out of the game, so I'm going to put it, it's kind of knowing, like, whoa, I need a minute. Yeah. Now, let's look at the outcome, guys. The Nine of Cups. Well, you're going to come out of this smelling like roses here, guys. I mean, that's what that is. I'm not trying to be rosy. I don't do, like, rosy, really. <laughs> but, come on. Um, yeah. It's almost like you know, you're putting yourself in at this period of like adjustment, of healing. And what it's going to do is balance you out. You end up with this Nine of Cups energy, which is total emotional fulfillment, emotional happiness. And it represents like vibing at this high level, I believe, like of a single. And I think it's the best like card you could get for an outcome for a singles reading. Because, um, you know, from this energy, one more becomes ten of cups and it's almost like you can't get the ten of cups until you get the nine of cups till you are happy and whole in yourself and all that corny stuff you always hear right and there you are congratulations scorpios thank you guys all right ah sagittarius and i can say that because i'm a sagittarius sun jupiter mercury and mars and um, I want to uh, one, let you know, I have the Meet Soul Made Up read for the end of November on my channel. You can go to it if you want to see the eight-card read. 
um, that's always uh, for Sag and Capricorn is going to be on Fridays, okay? Also do the heart spread read if you have someone on your mind, always on Fridays. And that may apply. But right now I just want to look for the 17th here and as a daily general read, kind of a little check up on where you're at in terms of love and relationship, oriented towards your singles uh, journey, guys. So here we have the Five of Cups. I mean, that's classic, you know, the Two of Cups in the background. And, you know, you're not looking at them because you're just but hurt right now. And people come along and say, hey, they're there. There's uh, more fish in the sea. Matt, in fact, there's a couple pretty hot ones right behind you. And you're like, you know what? I'm not, you know, I just need a minute. I'm hurting here. Um, one thing I like about the Five of Cups to me, it's like, you re this really kind of shows it well. I'm right away. I haven't used it in a while, guys. Um, it's my oldest deck, but um, kind of shows this kind of darkness of it. You know, this is kind of dark night of the soul type of energy here. Where I'm feeling you around love and relationship, you know. So it hasn't been going well. And I don't think you're, you know, quite ready. You know, they always, they do depict it in here in the castle in the background. So. Um, it's kind of ex self exile too comes with this card it's like you've exiled yourself in your grief from maybe the rest of your family and stuff because maybe maybe your friends family got tired of you like crying over this person people do that I mean you're dying of cancer if it takes a while you're going to have people drop out it's just like it's too hard to do it for a year or two or something um, so you know Kind of this withdrawal too, all the way across the river, all the way across the river, across or you cross the Rubicon with this. So sorry guys, you're sitting on a lot of pain here. Uh, Sad's not fun. It's not good for Sad. Sad's gonna want to bolt out of that. Well, what you're gonna have to do is kind of fight your way out of this, uh, Sad. On the most spiritual level. I, I think like this Five of Swords could be speaking to just negative, this more would speak to me, uh, uh, negative thoughts. And th this is the time to really slay the negative thoughts. And the negative thoughts are about this stuff. And this could go all the way back to childhood. I know it's a daily reading. But if not, then it goes back to the last relationship and you're definitely not, you don't have closure and you're lost in that, right? Um, but I like this, the more spiritual read. Um, it's like time to face those uh, fears, those thought patterns, those negative thought patterns that run all our lives in some way, because this is about belief systems, what's going on a lot with the Sag and Gemini energy. It's just finishing up. It's hanging there for a bit, and it's, it, it's in play. Um, it's all about belief systems, and it's not about religion mainly. And it's like, I'm not good enough. That's a belief system. And it's time to slay that, and it's it's gonna take an effort, right? And the Queen of Wands. Now you could damn well say this is Sagittarius card here. It does have the cat on it, the lions on the throne, so it could emphasize Leo energy too. It also emphasizes the fifth house and the sun, and which is romance, even fun sex. I kind of see this as your person. I just, I don't know this is exactly tarot. I see them a little ways off, you know? And it's like, they they don't, I don't think you know this person yet. They don't know you. And they may not even, look at their, if you could see, they're kind of looking away from the reading a little bit even, this king. So, maybe they're not even thinking about love. It's probably gonna be this fire sign, Aries or Leo or Sag. Emphasis on Leo. Doesn't have to be. And, um, but this person, it's like already ordained for you. I call it the, you know, astral train, right? It's already happened in the 5D. Neither of you probably know it yet. But this Five of Swords, you're looking right at your back there with your Five of Cups energy. And it's like it's gonna come right up to you. It's gonna make you face all this shit. And it's gonna kind of be harsh. It's gonna kind of be harsh. You might not feel real supportive. Okay, guys, I gotta tell you. Um, so it's a, a 
could be another Sag, you know, but I think the energy that's coming is going to be really helpful to you. And it's also this fire energy that's going to uh, get you up and out of this dark night of the soul energy. Sagittarius, thank you guys. Bless you. Um, Capricorns, thanks for joining me. I'm doing a singles read. This is for the 17th of November here. Normally for singles, I do the meet the soulmate read two signs every day. I just roll, roll through the zodiac every week. Now I do already have that up for the end of November time frame. You just go to my channel, um, and you'll find that Fridays are always Sagittarius Capricorn Day, so it'll be there along with the heart spread. If you do have someone on your mind, that's kind of how that reads. And then the soul family read, which is more spiritual manifestation. But do check that out if you think you might be inclined be part of that it's just for whoever resonates and right now we're doing this three card checkup we're rolling through the deck guys and i do like the kind of like for singles i kind of like the eight of uh, cups here um only problem with it i also read this is where you're at in terms of love and relationship where your mind and heart is at as well as in this reading be the past position um this is kind of what's influencing you, what you're coming into the relationship dating world with this energy of having left. It feels like there's not, there's some emotional uh, connection that needs closure still when I see this here. Um, the good news is you are walking away from it, you are emotionally, and you know, how's I see it, because I'm Sagittarius here. Um, but Capricorn, um, I don't necessarily, this doesn't mean like if you stop, it's just you're aware of like, you know, I, st I still got to put a few more feet uh, behind me before I'm really away from them, right? Because they're on a little bit of a journey there, right? So it's like you're in the process of emotionally detaching from this past uh, person that didn't work out, you know? Wow. Well, I got to tell you, if you look at this reading, I gotta put it this way, reverse it, so uh, you're, you're hiking right towards this Two of Cups. So I don't know, it, again, check out the Heart Spread reading, that's on Fridays, that's for someone on your mind, because if you do, that'll go a little deeper. I just gotta wonder if you don't have someone on your mind with this Two of Cups. You know, it could go, you could even have two people on your minds. Now, it could be you're, there's these two people uh, from your past that are really haunting you. It, that would be if it's really strong, you know. When well, you got to figure this a singles reading. Um, if at the, at the very simplest level, it's you offering your cup to someone else who's offering you their cup. Now, you're not getting stood up here. You're offering your cup to somebody else. You're like, I'm interested in you. That's amazing. I'm interested in you too. You know what? I gotta be honest with you. I think I really love you. And they're like, oh my god, I can't believe you said it first. I was about to tell you I love you. So there's some real reciprocation here. I just almost get the feeling like what you probably walked away from, Capricorns, was a, a lack of reciprocation, you know? Let's see. Jupiter energy. Hmm. Jupiter could be significant. I think it's at 23 um, Aquarius right now. That's my planet as a Sagittarius, you know, for my sun anyway. Um, so wherever that is in your chart, um, you've still got the south node there at one degree. It's going to be hanging right there, anything down in there. <coughs> so it could point to that in your natal chart. Excuse me. <coughs> and... Um, this would be, though, something coming in for you in the near future. And I, I got to think it's like love. Um, so, you know, with the Two of Cups, too, it could be the energy of you just really wanting to offer your cup of love. And, you know, I got to think Jupiter's the husband. You think, take that as you want in astrology. And so it's going to bring in this energy, you know. Uh, it's if it does bring in something it's going to be big it's going to feel like a gift and it's going to feel like uh, I believe it's going to feel like marriage it's going to feel like husband it's going to feel like could feel like wife you know because you're the husband and you're looking for a wife kind of energy um, 
or it could be that's just the one giving this back to you but anyway it's like comment let me know because I don't know what I could really add to this other than to tell you it looks all good to me you know I don't really see a choice here I see you walking walking here's if you add one more cup to your eight that's a nine of cups you're self-fulfilled and you're meeting this Jupiterian Cancer Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising or Venus I mean uh, Sagittarius personality not Cancer Sun Moon Rising or Venus energy um, and it looks like it's Wheel of Fortune but it usually brings in things to your favor you know um, it's like winning the lottery woot woot so you would literally like come out of this congratulations you got this Arguably, you're in a tie with Taurus for the best reading, um, you know, um, because I think, you know, um, out of this, uh, you might, like, get the marriage energy coming, you know, <laughs> all, all told. So, going from single to married, you know, at uh, 80 miles an hour. Thank you, Capricorn. Not to curse you or anything, <laughs> but... Uh, Sagittarius, I mean, uh, Sagittarius, Aquarius, um, on my mind, because I'm a Sag, and we were just mentioning Sag in the Capricorn read, but um, all the actions in Aquarius right now, a lot of the action, a lot of important stuff going on, so if you want to look at the Meet the Soulmate reading, I do have it up for the end of November on my channel, and you can check it out, that's an eight card read, it's always positive, because it's just simply asking who's the one that's right for me. And that's it, you know, trying to describe them. Now this reading I'm doing today, because this week I'm doing dailies for all signs rolling through the deck. And now we're doing Aquarius here, just kind of a checkup on where you're at in terms of love and relationship. And asking in the name of light and love, so it serves the greatest good spirit to guide us here. Um, in some way that's the most meaningful and helpful, give, us, uh, give you whatever it is you might need uh, in this the moon card Aquarius so your energy coming up in and around relationships and love where your mind is at and where your heart is at I'm kind of thinking about the uh, full moon coming up it's only three days away two days away two days away um, 27 degrees Taurus wherever that is in your chart just make sure it doesn't mean something important you know, do astrology too so let me know uh, this is a big one uh, and you can't I gotta wonder but otherwise coming in here this is where you're at also speaks to past stuff um, and you're single you're looking there's something about you or something about your the your anima your animus also on the heart spread by the way I have anima animus spreads all week um, that sh this could be helpful here uh, Aquarius come come to think of it could it could be something about the way you express your anima animus, your seventh house, your energy of desire for a mate, you know, for an another, um, is uh, there's something you're not seeing about it, where it's kind of like becomes like self-sabotaging, or it do doesn't work, well, you just don't, you know, you keep getting bad men, bad women, and, but it's something like you're not seeing about yourself, it's 12th house energy too, by the way, that's uh, why the 12th house is, um, um, you know, inflicting self wounds, you know, self sabotage comes from the 12th house. That's stuff we don't see. So, let me see what we get for where you're at now. Holy moly, we gotta cut through this. I'm feeling a little uptight, like almost like I'm drowning. It's not that bad here. It's an amazing weather in Cancun. So, <clears throat> seven of cups, that can be emotional turmoil. It's just, uh, if you're single, it could, you could literally be having too many choices. Um, and then, this is not being able to, like, narrow down, not being able to, like, focus. Um, there's a lot of water energy, you know, with the moon. That's Cancer, too. That could be relevant. And um, the Seven of Cups is like being emotionally a little bit overwhelmed, not being able to get a handle on things. I told you I felt like I was kind of drowning a little bit. Um, we'll get a, a clarification on both of those spirit and bring that together somehow. Page of Swords. Okay, so before I pull the outcome card, this Page of Swords is coming between the moon. Because this really, I told you, this, we need to cut through this. It's like I'm drowning fog. We need to. 
Uh, so we need something uh, sharp here, some air. Um, so I think this is like a talk with someone. Maybe this will help me see what we get with the outcome. Do check out the, either of your singles read Meet the Soulmate or your heart spread for more advice. Um, that would, for you guys, would be last Saturday's a few days ago for, the, for this time period, okay? Um, but something needs to be said, probably, um, that you're not seeing. Maybe that's what you're not seeing. Maybe that's why things are not clear. But this would almost be like they're not clear and you're not seeing it because you kind of don't want to because it's kind of harsh, Page of Swords. And it's exactly the kind of thing, like if you just shared this uh, reading with a friend, if you got this far, <laughs> share it with a friend, okay? And say, what the fuck is this dude talking about? They'll probably go, oh yeah, yeah, I know right what it is, I know right what it is. And he'll just tell you, this might not be that big a deal. But like in terms of manifestation, it's exactly the kind of thing that can kind of screw up your manifestation and lead it off, you know, um, because it's kind of about, um, you know, something in the, our mind or patterns or way of thinking the way um, and it is something to sextile um, a trine often in a chart energy. You'll see it because when we don't see something and all because we, we've been that way our whole life, that's what works for us. You know, by and large it does, but maybe when it comes to one little thing having to do with dating, it's kind of like bringing us this bad mojo. And our friend goes, well, I uh, need to, and it's like not even hard. The Emperor. That's a hell of a stretch. The Moon and the Seven of Cups. I'm just trying to think if this can catapult you into your own emperor energy. I want to see it that way, guys. I got to tell you, Aquarius. Um, whatever this is, like the moon, once you clear it up, it kind of clears up all of this confusion. This is like brain fog or something. And maybe, you know, like if you look back on the last three relationships, for instance. Is it all just kind of like fuzzy and blended together? Are you kind of like, I know what happened here, and I know what happened here, and I know what happened. So I think that's kind of like blended and fuzzy. And when you're the emperor, it's sharp and you're under control. And now another thing is this is Aries. Speak to Aries in your chart. And this could speak to you bringing in this Aries personality as in terms of your person you're going to meet but you know i just want to give a fair warning you know, also the emperor is rigid can be controlling my way or the highway and i think you're coming into this with this soft very feminine energy of the moon and we're, we're the most vulnerable and um you're gonna it possibly could be taken advantage of that's what i'm saying um by this person so keep that in mind because you know um they're probably the strong Aries is like, you know, I want this assertion, go get it, strength, no, you know, you want that for yourself, see? So you bring in this person. So if that's it, sometimes you can bring it in too hard. As if the, I think the universe like likes to teach us, it's almost like cartoons. You know, they bring in like something really strongly, an example of what it is exactly that you need, right? What I need is what I get. It's like the universe is really good at that, right? But once we kind of figure out what this is, why it's so important, you know, Young said anything unconscious gets projected and we call it fate. And I'm telling you, there's something unconscious about this moon and seven of uh, cups here that you just gotta cut through, guys. Consider a personal reading. Look at astrology too. We have some advice on where that, what's going on with that. Thank you guys. All right, we have a sip of water. Pisces, welcome. This is your bell. The Pi I call it the Pisces bell. Yeah. Only do that for Pisces. That's the only one. Um, last but not least, doing the singles read, pulling through the deck here. Uh, this is uh, instead of the meet the soulmate read which by the way I do have up on my channel uh, from uh, Saturday still pretty fresh you guys your read and that's for the end of November so that covers this time frame it'll 
go into more detail exactly the one that uh, the universe has for you that's the best for you what they're like and everything here I just want to do a three card read every day this week and I get in touch with you guys as singles and look at your general singles energy in terms of love and relationship there's no other way to read this but you could read Scorpio so that could be very well uh, significant and it is surely right now uh, and with this uh, um, full moon eclipse coming up in three days now I'll have a reading about that um, that energy's there but this is someone this is you in and around relationships and love you're in a transformation man and you're going right into the reading so you know I mean I'm in that I found I think my soulmate when I was in my transformation I'm still in the transformation I don't it's still going on I think it kind of is for a lot of us I mean this energy's been hammering for years and it's taken effect and people are popping off I think like have been it's a little hard sometimes but you know this speak of someone you're still in your transformation so you know you really don't know if you're going to be a butterfly or a moth yet man ace of pentacles wow this is you being very solid and very certain and if you're single <sighs> look at kind of how look at how this goes you got the clouds coming almost off of this is the Rider Waite deck. It's my oldest deck, so basic. But the clouds are kind of coming off as if the hand you could think maybe is extending from the death card. And it's so, like maybe you're just on the tail end. This is kind of how I feel. Could read, watch this whole family read. It's for um, just um, more like manifestation spirituality. Uh, whoever resonates, read. Uh, but you could be just coming out of this and reaching this state of stability. You know, like just kind of seeing where you're going, what you're becoming, and getting solid with it, you know. Um, kind of knowing what you are and who you are and feeling like you're kind of grounded. And, um, you know, it's really a beautiful card, too, to kind of look at the picture, if you can see. Um, Kind of the spring-like energy and uh, being um, ready to commit too if there's any question about that and sincere too particularly if it's cross watcher pisces describing where pisces is at right now i mean you're right holy moly and you've got this is to be clear bonds are action this is the energy of the building of a long-term committed relationship or marriage and you are ready to invest in that Having gone through a deep transformation around love and relationship, maybe right now you are Scorpio season. You know, take a look at your chart. I love looking like for the good marriage date. That's that's gravy work there. That's fun. Not so easy as you think. Looking for that auspicious date. I don't think sometimes it's kind of random. Sometimes it's not a, not a problem. Maybe you could say those are meant to be, but. This someone reaching out into a marriage here, guys. So if this hasn't happened yet, it's coming. And I think it's all about you kind of get clear. As a, you, you've gone through the transformation. Now you know who you are and what you want. And what you want could be another way to say this. And what you want is marriage. You know who you are. And you know you're ready to commit to what you want. Take action on it. And what you want is to build a long-term, stable, and committed relationship or a marriage. There you go, guys. Thank you.